Oh, this park is incredible. It's a dream come true. Half a million people visit the Pottawatomie Park every year, but not all of them have been able to enjoy it the same way. Today, that changed. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at 6 Tonight. I'm Dustin Grove. Earlier today, Pottawatomie Park opened its brand new playground designed for children with special needs. WSBT's Tristan Henry has more now on how the park is fun for all. We haven't had anything like this in this community. It's a brand new playground. That's all kids need to know to be excited. But there's something special about the new equipment at Pottawatomie Park. It's been designed for kids with special needs. So someone in a wheelchair could get to the top here, transfer over if they're able to get out of their wheelchair, come down the slide, push over with their hands here. And this has been designed to return up to the top and get back into their wheelchair. Awesome, bud. It's a concept five-year-old KJ was quick to pick up. Good job, KJ. A playground that welcomes walkers and wheelchairs is a dream come true for his mother. He's really been at different parks throughout the city and just none of them have been able to allow him to be able to move so freely. So he, it was like his eyes opened up and it was like, oh my gosh, look at this place. There was no blueprint for a playground with universal design, so organizers went to parents with special needs children to find out what obstacles they could eliminate and what they could add, like this ramp. And when he really got his walker on the surface, that made the huge difference in that he could move so freely and get up, climb, use the ramps that are made actually wide enough for his walker. Another plus, the ground is soft. It's made with recycled rubber, which is easier for wheelchairs to roll on and softer for kids to fall on. It was really fun when we were playing. The Fun for All project gave KJ the freedom to tell mom it's okay to hang back and just watch him enjoy. Stay here. Okay. You go have fun then. Reporting for WSBT News, I'm Tristan Henry. The Community Foundation got a grant to help pay for the renovations at the park. Along with the playground, they also created a new exercise path that is handicap accessible.